guys, this is Mauro. I want to go through a small paragraph of the Rafael Nadal book. He talks about something that I, I, I have talked about it in previous, in previous videos, is the fact that when you play, you have to learn to let go of the control of your body. Um, I will go a little more deeper into that. Let me just read this short paragraph on the book and then we go through it. It's for those of you that have the book, it's, uh, it's on, on page six. Um, and he says, you might think that after the millions and millions of balls I've hit, I, I will have the basic shots of tennis sewn up. That reliably hitting a true smooth clean shot every time will be a piece of cake. But it isn't, not just because every day you wake up feeling differently, but because every shot is different, every single one. Oh, so that's one thing that I have talked about before, is when you play, guys, we have to focus on, you gotta play tennis, focus on the feeling of the ball. I talk about the use of the bouncing, bouncing tool, which is bounce, when the ball bounces, it's ready, and then you go. You see that ball coming, ready, but that means bounces, and ready means you're already here. It doesn't mean ready. It means you're already racket here. So you see that ball coming right away, ready. Ready and go. Ready and go. Ready and go. And that will help you get the right timing when you're hitting too early or too late. Now, we get the timing focusing on those two. The bouncing tool helps since we have those two um, points of reference, the bouncing and swinging. Now, as Nadal mentions in the book, you never get to control every shot, especially there is a lot of people that want to learn tennis the way they learn math or other subjects that you have to rationalize. You cannot be rational playing tennis because tennis is a sport just like like I, I think all sport is something that your body is doing over and over and over and you more kind of feel it and your body starts adjusting itself to the timing imagine how much work you have to do if you want to adjust to every single shot in tennis every shot is different every changes the speed the height the placement your knees are going to have to work in a different way your ankles are going to have to work in a different way you're going to have to stand in a different position you're going to have to breathe the racket in a different way you have to swing in a different way your wrist works in a different way the way you the the, the, the way you move towards that ball is in a different every shot is different so if we're trying to be rational and learn every single shot how we're going to do it you're never going to get to control that that's 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 trying to control the game that's the ego that's your ego not wanting to lose and that's when you have to let go guys the best way to control your game is letting go of control remember example that i gave you the body works like a baby the baby's trying to walk and he trips and pop and, and the parents freak out but you gotta let the baby wake up and go if the parents try to get him up every time he wakes up, the baby's never gonna learn to walk. That's why the baby, he trips and he's like, guys, leave me alone. Leave me alone, I'll do it. And that's how we all started, guys. That's how we all learn how to walk. That's how we learn to ride a bike. That's how we learn how to drive. So you wanna get to that point where you're more focusing, relaxing, and feeling, try to feel more ball coming, relax, Go and let the body do it, guys. And, and, and one very important thing that you have to focus is the number one, the number one thing that will mess up your game. And it's not just your game. It's the number one thing that will make up, that will mess up anything you want to do in life. If you want to, if you're starting to be an architect, if you have a big project in mind, if you're planning to invite someone out, if you're planning to read to read a book or, 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 or in, in you know if you if your goal is to read that book in two or three days or if you're planning to learn how to play the guitar the number one thing that messes that is just the root of so many branches that are gonna are gonna mess up 
our joy of everything we do, guys, is focusing on the outcome. When you focus on winning, that you're stealing the joy of the game. That is gonna make your life miserable. That's what makes people retire. That's what makes people quit from doing stuff that they like. That's what the little prodigies, kids, how many kids that they say, oh, this kid is gonna be a monster. And they had so much pressure on him to be good that when the kid turned, he, when he turned 18, he said, that's it, I don't wanna know anything about tennis. So many things, so many examples I can say about that, guys. You gotta focus on that thing. You gotta let go of the main ego tool, which is focusing on the outcome. If you don't learn to focus on enjoying the process of becoming your best self, you are not gonna be able to accomplish many, many, many of your goals. So play tennis with more feeling of joy, feeling that ball, okay, here we go. Get ready early and move. Focus on the trajectory of the ball. Our job, guys, when we play is, the job that we have to do is the eyes and the footwork. Those are the two things we wanna focus. The rest, the body will do it. That's how we drive home and we don't even know how we got home. That's how you get home and, every, and everything can be dark and you walk into the house and you perfectly where the switch is. That's when we do all those things that we have done over and over and over and we don't need to think about it. So get rid of the number one enemy of every player and every contender in any task, in any field, guys. Get rid of focusing on the results and you gotta learn to enjoy the process. You gotta learn to let your body absorb when you're playing, when everything you do, you gotta, that, that's why you have to enjoy it. Okay, guys? Well, if you, for those of you that haven't read the book, this is, this is like a Bible, guys. For, for people that play tennis, and even for people that don't play tennis, this, I love this book because he talks about a lot of how much he struggled, all the pain he has to go through every time he plays. And I'm not getting paid for his advertising, by the way, but I'm just saying, this is a really good book, especially for those of you that have kids into sports, this is really good, guys. You have to make him. The first thing I told, my dad was a former uh, Mexico uh, Davis Cup player. And I, the first thing I told him when I read the book, this book is, if I were the president of the United States Tennis Association, I will make any tennis academy in the United States, they, they will to make, him, their, make their kids read this book at least five or six times mandatory on every academy guys i suggest it um get it and remember i hope it helps you have any questions let me know and guys remember when you play stay centered and be bold